Hey everyone, so this is going to be kind of an overall, um, what has cancer taught me video. Um, and the main reason that I'm doing this is to obviously talk about, like, what's been going on lately with things, but also to review where I'm at. Um, as of now, I'm going to be having, um, this Friday, I'm going to be having my full body scan which there should be no signs of the cancer anymore or there should be very little um, signs of it. <clears throat> That's what we're hoping to see and then it will just be two more treatments after that. So four more rounds, or not four more rounds, four more treatments, two more rounds. <clears throat> <coughs> and I will be done and I apologize if I cough throughout this. I'm actually sick right now with whatever bug is going around. Um, so that has not been fun. Um, and it has been, it's been very different lately. Um, I've actually gotten sort of into a routine now with it. I found that on chemo days, it's a lot easier if I kind of either stay up part of the night so I don't get that much sleep, so I sleep, um, or I, I simply just go to sleep through the entire treatment, and it actually works out really well. Um, this past treatment, I happened to go to sleep before they even started the chemo drugs, and I woke up, I was on the last, the fourth drug, I had like maybe 15 minutes left of the treatment to go, and that was it, it was said and done. Um, and I've noticed that that's been working for me and that I'm able to stay awake for the rest of the day and I'm able to go out, um, I'm able to do things, um, and just interact with the world. Um, the nausea, my nausea's been slightly off, um, and it has gotten a little worse, um, and that I have had to take more anti-nausea pills and I am on a new one. Um, we prescribed me something different because the other ones I had just weren't helping anymore. Um, I have been, this past weekend, I've been, um, using a lot more Percocet than I have as of lately. Um, I try not to use any pain meds, including Tylenol, <clears throat> um, just because I don't like being in the habit of taking pain meds for pain. However, I've been dealing with a lot of um, hip and joint pain lately, so it's very hard sometimes for me to um, sit in certain positions or to go from sitting to standing. I will um, usually walk a little hunched over sometimes if I get up like from the couch um, and all of that. <clears throat> Um, my hair has been, at this point, it's growing back in, surprisingly, already. Um, I did just recently shave it again, though, because it was getting unruly and cancer patient-y, and I, I'm sort of, like, when it's like this, I can deal with it when it's short, the, the way it is now. Um, I feel a lot better about it, and I don't mind, um, not having <coughs> the hair there. But when it's just unruly, I look in the mirror, and no matter what I do, it's just, ugh, horrible. Um, <clears throat> so that's what's been basically going on with that, and I can't believe that it's almost over already. And honestly, this, this has just flown by. I mean, you know, when I first got diagnosed, and it was, you're going to have six rounds for a total of 12 treatments, it was like, Wow. That's a lot, and now, you know, it's, you have four treatments, two rounds left, and it's like, where has the time gone? <clears throat> and I've also come to form a little cancer family in that I know exactly, I know the receptionist who checks me in, I don't even have to say my name, she already knows me when I go in there, um, <clears throat> they know the first, um, the nurse that brings me back and does my weight and my vitals knows me. Um, Jen, which is the nurse that usually administers my chemo drugs, is the same every week. And um, there's also one um, 
He's an he's an older gentleman. Um, I think my mom said. I think I've heard my mom say he's in his sixties or late sixties, early seventies. Um, and we've actually become good friends with them. It's um, sort of become it's become common for us to sit across from each other. And there was actually one day that I chose to sit in a different area, and I didn't even know it, but. I was sleeping during the day, and my dad actually went over and talked to the guy because he was so worried because he didn't see me there. Um, so he was, like, worried, you know, and he's like, hey, you're not sitting with us? And I was like, no, I just chose to sit here today. And he's like, oh, well, we missed you. And he actually gave me a good thought the other day when he was checking in. They asked him how he was, and I overheard him, and I heard him say, you know, I'm too blessed to be stressed, and that's something that with this whole holiday season and everything going on, I've been trying to remember a lot more is that I am blessed and there's no reason to get stressed because honestly, I can't even believe Christmas is a week away and I mean, it's so, it's so amazing to look at the things that are going on. I have a wonderful relationship with Steven that's progressing every day. The way he gets along with Scruffy is just, I mean, amazing. It's, it's, I mean, he gets along with Scruffy better than Scruffy even ever got along with my ex-husband. <clears throat> and I have, you know, wonderful family, you know, that is supporting me behind all of this. You know, Michael's going to be 18 months on Christmas Eve, and he's growing like a weed. He's saying more words every day, and he's interacting more, and Nick's going to be seven next year, and it's like, where does time go? I mean, you know, he's grown up so much, you know, now that he's in school and he's he's just changed so much and it's so amazing to watch both of them grow and to interact with them and do everything that I get to do and be so blessed in all of the ways that I am blessed and in doing all of the things that I am doing. So, I, you know, I really am too blessed to be stressed and I try to keep that <clears throat> in my mind on the days when, you know, I want to post a Facebook status and the only thing I can think of to post is negative stuff. And, that, I mean, yeah, that's the way life is going and it's pretty good and I, I couldn't be happier. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below or send me a message and I will try to get back to them as soon as I can. And thank you all for watching and supporting. Bye, guys.